Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here, I'm going to be showing you every horde location in Lost Lake, an area in Days Gone. So there are a total of six hordes in Lost Lake and uh, you have to kill one of those hordes for the main story quest, but it's actually not counted towards the total for whatever reason. The uh, you, you have to take out the horde at the old sawmill, which is right here on, I don't know why I put the marker all the way over there. It's uh, right here where I'm mousing around on the map, circling rather. Uh, that is the only horde that you have to kill during the story quest uh, in this area. You have another horde just south of there called the Burley Lake Horde, which you can see here. You have another horde to the uh, northwest of there called the Wapanita Road Horde, right up here. You have another horde to the north of that called the West Fur Horde. And all the way at the northern end of this area, you have a horde called the uh, Metalus Lava Cave Horde. You'll visit this horde during the main story uh, quest. Well, yeah. You, and you'll have to collect dynamite to seal the uh, cave off, but you actually never seal the cave off. Uh, Sherman's Camp Horde. That's the horde that uh, resides in the Sherman's uh, Camp Town here. And then finally, last but not least, all the way up in the north... Uh, easternmost corner of this area in the same area where you had to track boozer earlier on in the game when he got drunk uh you'll find the river flow farms horde and those are all six of the horde locations in uh lost lake if you need to see the map location for any one of those more individually just pause the video at any point uh when i'm showing the location i'm going to do a few zoom ins here of each location to uh give you uh, an idea a roundabout of where it is so you can pause the video at any point that you actually need to and then just leave it up on your screen while you find the location yourself a lot of these locations have caves you can see like a little graphic here like there's a uh, dirt that goes up to that area because it's a cave keep in mind that uh when you get close to the location usually the game will break up into three different areas uh usually they tell you where the horde sleeps uh they'll show you one of the main roads that the horde walks on and then where the horde stops each uh, night to eat. And uh, you have to decide when it's best to attack the hordes. I usually prefer attacking them at uh, during the day because they're all in one spot and then they're much easier to take out. But to each their own, you might have a different strategy that works best for you. Anyway, that's all there is to it. If this video helped you out, please leave me a like because that helps me out. And I will catch you guys around in future Days Gone videos. Peace.